Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I just want to go ahead and give you guys a short little video uh, letting you know that I'm going to be playing Path of Exile for probably like the next week or so. Um, essentially, if you guys are familiar with the new skill, uh, Winter Orb, that's going to be coming out. Um, they posted it on their expansion notes on pathofexile.com. Basically, it is an orb that will go above your head and channel. Uh, as you channel, you'll build up stacks and those stacks will uh, make the orb fire quicker and etc. So basically, since we don't really have the patch notes yet and we don't have the actual skill gem releases, um, I have built a tree for what I would presumably like to play it as, which is going to be a CI Elementalist. And uh, since I haven't really played CI at the beginning of a league in a while and I'm still kind of new to solo self found, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing like some practicing. It's not racing, but just re-familiarizing myself with the game and how you approach and go about CI in a solo self-found manner. Um, now, one of the main reasons I'm interested in playing this character is because in this patch there or this expansion, they're going to be redoing like what is it that they said? Arctic Breath, um, Vortex. We're getting this new cold skill, um, the one I just said, what is it, Winter Orb, and they're redoing uh, the Ice Spear, Arctic Breath, and Vortex. Those three, I don't know which one I missed. So this cold is actually one of my favorite elements to play in Path of Exile because I really like the shattering, and it's just really safe defensively, and it synergizes well with my favorite curse, which is Temporal Chains. So with this tree, essentially, we get the 10% cold or 6% cold pen from Heart of Ice. We get the 40% freeze duration from the Breath of Rhyme cluster over here. On the left hand side, we get the additional 5% cold pen, which puts us to 11% cold pen. By playing Elementalist, we get Mastermind of Discord, which puts us to 36% cold pen. Um, and then we're gonna go Elemental Overload. Also, one unique thing is that Celestial Punishment is increased effect of non-damaging ailments on enemies. I do believe non-damaging ailments also applies to your freeze, so it's kind of like freeze duration. Um, and if you're unaware, that's probably one of the best ways to actually scale your freeze is through basically damage and freeze duration. Um, so I'm really excited for this character. You also get the introduction of, uh, what is it called, Frost Bomb. Now Frost Bomb is a skill that I'm sure a lot of you guys know, you basically just put the bomb on the floor um, and then it explodes, but since we're scaling skill effect duration, it's gonna mean that frost bomb stays out longer If it stays out longer, it means the debuff is applied longer before it explodes Since in this expansion, they're redoing a basically Bestiary and how it works a lot of red beasts have life regen mods Which makes them very very strong to like mediocre builds or not overpowered builds So actually the reduced life regen is not that bad at all when you think of it in a comparison like that and then we're probably going to use like Ice Spear as single target, but again, we got to really wait for the gems to see exactly what it is that we're going to be playing. Um, I did spend a little bit of time to work on this character, mainly because after playing my previous build, the uh, Caustic Rain Trickster, everything felt pretty, I'm going to be honest, shit compared to that character because it, it felt so fluid, it moved so fast, it felt so clean. And it's not fun playing a really slow, heavy character on the left side of the tree, and then you just are just bored because you just are slow, right? So with this character, I went a bit out of my way to kind of sacrifice some nodes on the tree for some movement speed. Um, so we get precision, which is not bad because we get cast speed. So we get 3% movement speed from precision. We get an additional 4% movement speed from nimbleness. So that puts us at 17%. And then we get 5% from Harrier and another 5% from Fangs of the Viper. So we get 17% movement speed from the tree, and with the new Master Crafting, you can actually craft movement speed on boots. That is not shit. Uh, we saw in one of the trailer videos, they crafted like 25% movement speed, so I'm really excited for this character uh, in that regard. And then with the current setup that we have with basically just uh, leadership and reduced mana reservation, I can pull this up to show you really fast. Let's see, what is our current reservation at? We're just 8%, I believe, so. With 8% reservation, uh, and then we tag in, where is it over here? Uh, we're gonna tag in, is it Mastermind of Discord? What is this node called here? Yeah, Mastermind of Discord. We are able to easily run 
Let's put on our Herald of Ice and then New Aura Group, Discipline, and Blasphemy Temporal Chains. And we still have 17% mana left. That shouldn't really be an issue. Now, one other thing with this build is if you guys are familiar with me, I don't really like playing Leech builds. Leech builds kind of Resident Sleeper bore me when I'm playing hardcore because I feel like I don't want it to be the case where like I'm trying to out leech target and then I get one shot and then I die because I'd rather just reposition my character. So with this character instead, I've decided to make use of Essence Surge. Uh, I really dislike this whole fucking huge pathway here, but you just got to try new things sometimes. So we get Essence Surge, which basically allows our ES recharge to recharge very, very quickly. If you guys are not familiar with it, Leo can also do increased faster start of energy shield recovery on rings, uh, which is really, really good. On top of Essence Surge, we also grab Void Barrier, which is more recharge. And then we have, I think this node does recharge. I'm not sure what else has recharge rate. Oh yeah, Leo got removed, didn't he? Well, don't worry, there's something else I'm sure that's popping in with there too. We get recharge rate on Natural Calm. We have this one, we have this baby node, this baby node, Essence Surge, and then we've got Void Barrier. Yeah, so that's pretty much about it. So what I'm going to be doing right now in game is we're going to be playing Frostbolt, mainly because I believe Frostbolt has less crit. It's a 5% base crit skill, right? I don't even know where it is. I'm pretty sure it's a 5% base God crit skill. So we're going to be playing Frostbolt so to less. level the character and kind of just see how the character feels. Like I said before previously, just get back into the game, uh, understand how easy it is to transition CI, and that's pretty much about it. So if you guys have any questions, of course, feel free to drop them down in the comments below, and otherwise, I will see you guys on the live streams. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, everyone. I'll see you boys all tomorrow.